the RTX 3080 Ti, 3070 Ti, 3060, and 3050 were all just leaked. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So this all started with the VideoCards.com article, which by the way, there will be links to all my sources in the description below. But in any case, in the article, VideoCards had this to say, quote, mainly submitted RTX 3080 Ti, RTX 3060, and RTX 3050 SKUs to EEC. All these cards are expected to launch in January next year. The list also features RTX 3070 Ti, of which there have been some leaks, but so far we have not been able to confirm it. So, you know, that's a whole bunch of information that just got leaked on a bunch of different cards, and in fact, it's just too many for me to focus on in one video, so I'm going to be focusing in on the RTX 3080 Ti, as I believe it's definitely going to be coming out in January here, and you know, when something gets submitted to the EEC or the Eurasian Economic Commission's regulatory office, that means that it's very close to hitting the shelves, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that 3080 Ti might be coming sooner than we all thought. Now speaking of the 3080 Ti, there's one more leak I want to talk about before I go into details about that card and that comes from Laptop Video To Go where apparently an HP OEM driver listed some new device IDs and the 3080 Ti was in there. So if we take a look at these device IDs we can see that you know on Laptop Video To Go someone looked through and supposedly named all these different IDs and so we have the Nvidia Quadro T500, the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080 Ti which that's what I'm going to be looking at here in a minute and we have the nvidia rtx a40 we have the nvidia ga103 which you know that could potentially be the 3070 ti or it could be the laptop variant of the rtx 3070 we'll just have to wait to find out we have the nvidia ga106 and another nvidia ga106 so it looks like we're probably looking at the rtx 3060 12 gigabyte in the rtx 3066 gigabyte variants here then we have the nvidia geforce rtx 3060 mobile max q and then finally the nvidia geforce rtx 3050 now we don't know if this list is 100 100% accurate, but I gotta say this list does look pretty good to me So I think that this is pretty true and we're gonna end up seeing all these cards pretty shortly In fact if I was to put my if I was gonna guess I'd say we're gonna probably get the RTX 3080 Ti sometime in January I'm thinking you know, probably late January, maybe like around January 20 something, maybe 28th. Uh, we'll probably see the RTX 3060 either in January or maybe even one month after. But it looks like Video Cards is pretty confident that it might be launching in January. And then, of course, we'll be getting the RTX 3060 Mobile hopefully in January as well. So there's going to be a whole lot more cards releasing, which, you know, that's good news for everyone because that means that potentially you're going to have a better chance of getting something as the stock of all these cards is still incredibly low, especially for the RTX. 3080, which is a little bit surprising because it's been quite a long time since the RTX 3080 initially launched. Now, in terms of the specs, if you don't know already, just as a refresher, Copite 7 Kimi had put the specs online quite a while ago, and you know, pretty recently I also got into contact with him, and he double confirmed that yes, these specs are currently what is planned for the RTX 3080 Ti, and it looks like it's going to be based off of the GA102-250-KD-A1 GPU. It should have the same FP32 count as the RTX 3090, which is 10,000 and 496 shaders or as Nvidia likes to call them CUDA cores it should have 20 gigabytes of GDDR6X as opposed to the 24 gigabytes as on the RTX 3090 so that's where it starts to make a little bit of a departure and in terms of the memory's clock speed it should be running at 19 gigabits per second as opposed to the 19.5 gigabits per second on the 3090 and it should be on a 320 bit bus as that would line up for the 20 gigabytes of memory as the RTX 3080 also has a 320 bit bus and has 10 gigabytes of memory so yeah all this makes sense and and if you take a look here, you know, cutting down the bus and reducing the memory as well as the memory speed slightly should allow them to get a TGP of roughly 320 watts or the same as the RTX 3080, which is pretty impressive because the RTX 3090 is 350 watts. So you're going to be probably getting very, very similar performance to the RTX 3090, but doing it for less power draw. And in fact, in terms of performance, what I'm expecting out of the RTX 3080 Ti is anywhere from the exact same performance as the RTX 3090 to maybe three or 4% less performance depending on what you're doing. Because, you know, honestly, even though the bandwidth of the 3080 Ti should be 760 gigabytes per second, whereas the 3090, I believe, is over 900 gigabytes per second, and that is a pretty big difference, you know, I don't think that the RTX 3080 Ti or 3090 really needs that much bandwidth for the majority of gaming tasks. So it's definitely very exciting that we're going to be seeing an RTX 3080 Ti coming in pretty soon here that should be giving us roughly the same performance as the RTX 3090, and it should be doing it for a lot cheaper. And, you know, talking about price, you know, how expensive do I think it's 
it's going to be. Well, you know, according to various leaks that I've seen online, and just because it makes a whole lot of sense, I think we're going to see a thousand dollar MSRP. And the reason why I say that that makes a whole lot of sense is because you know when you look at the RX 6900 XT in terms of pure gaming performance, if you leave out ray tracing and all you care about is gaming and you you don't do any content creation, well, the 6900 XT is you know five hundred dollars cheaper than the RTX 3090. Now they're both ludicrously expensive. I mean, a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars for GPU is a lot of money to be spending for pretty minor games but you know that does make the 6900 XT look a lot better being $500 cheaper so I think if Nvidia comes in with the 3080 Ti at $1,000 it's going to put AMD in a pretty tough spot so I think that's a very good MSRP for them to put it out at and on top of that you know people have shown that they're definitely willing to pay $1,000 for a gaming put card no problem you know we've been seeing uh, 3090s flying off the shelves and 6900 XTs selling out immediately so obviously there's definitely room in the market for that you know I wish people would you know reject thousand plus dollar of price points but I guess that's not going to happen and then you look online and people are scalping you know 3080s for over a thousand dollars so clearly people are willing to pay a thousand dollars for a GPU so Nvidia is not going to be afraid to charge that much for it and you know you might not be able to find a card at MSRP we'll just have to wait and see you might only be able to find like eleven or twelve hundred dollar custom 3080 Ti's for the most part it might be very difficult to find one for a thousand dollars but you know all they have to do is put it out at a thousand dollars MSRP and it's going to start to make the 6900 XT look a little bit silly because frankly Nvidia does have a few more features that AMD just doesn't quite have yet and if they're you know technically the same price even if you can't get them at the same price well it's going to make a lot of people start to look at the 3080 Ti instead so I think AMD is going to be put in a pretty tough situation and they're going to need to drop their prices and frankly I think that the 6900 XT probably should have come out at $800 to begin with but I think that's what they're probably going to have to move to if they still want to sway enough people to buy a 6900 XT in January once both these cards hopefully become readily available though you know of course on launch day and even a couple weeks afterwards it probably will be pretty difficult to get the 3080 Ti but you know shortly after it launches I do expect that both these cards will start to become more available especially considering their high price point that a lot of people probably won't be willing to purchase but hey that's just what I think what do you think about the 3080 Ti you're going to be trying to get one or are you going to be waiting out for a 3070 Ti or even 3060 let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.